Hey, welcome back to class. My name is Flo. In today's practice, we will go through a 30-minute vinyasa flow sequence. And personally, in my own practice, I really like to move in all directions. When I practice every day in the morning, I like to work on uh, strength-building movements and poses, as well as mobility, flexibility. And so today, we'll, we'll get kind of um, a little bit from everything. So we'll work on strengthening poses and movements as well as we will lengthen and stretch the body. Uh, it's basically a full body uh, practice so hopefully it will leave you energized and motivated and just feeling good for your day. All you need is your mat. If you don't have a mat then borrow one for, from a friend or if you're serious about your practice I highly recommend investing in a good mat but if you have carpet at home, you can also practice on the carpet. Whenever you're ready, let's begin. Let's find a comfortable seated position. I prefer hero's pose, sitting on the heels. It's kind of like the symmetry of this pose, a symmet symmetrical pose. But you can also sit cross-legged. And sit nice and tall, close your eyes, relax your... I did this one yesterday. My apologies. Hi. Hi. My name is Flo. Hi, friends. Hi. We're back in Bali. I'm super excited to film more classes here on this beautiful island. This is another 30 minute vinyasa yoga practice. And all you need is your yoga mat, since I also didn't bring any blocks or any other props with me. Today we will work on twists. Let's begin. into a seated position. Can be hero's pose, cross-legged, whatever works for you today. Hi. Sit nice and tall, close down your eyes. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears. And just take a moment to center yourself. Arrive on your mat. Take a few deep breaths. Start to check in with your body, how are you feeling today? Notice the patterns in your breath without changing anything. Just notice the inhale and the exhale. And slowly start to manipulate your breath. Take a longer, deeper inhale. Maybe add a pause at the top of your inhale. And a nice and slow exhale through the nose. Set your breath up for the practice and use your breath as a guide as we move through all these poses, transitions on our mat. And slowly blink your eyes open or keep them closed if you want. Bring your right hand next to you on the ground, maybe bend the right arm, reach your left arm up and over your head, side bend to the right. Breathe into that space you create on your left side body. Your next inhale, back to center, other side, left hand down, right arm is reaching up and over to the left. Back to center. Bring your hands forward, come into tabletop, come onto all fours. Come onto your toes as well, send the, send the hips back to the heels. Keep the arms straight and then move the shoulders forward as far as you can so that you feel your wrists. Move the hips back to the heels, stretch out the feet, 
Move forward, stretch out the wrists, and back a couple more times, forward and back. As always, in my classes, we start with the wrist warm-up. We will not be on our hands too much today, but maybe you do this class in the evening, or in the morning. Maybe you have an office job, so it's important to take care of the wrists, especially when you are on our keyboards or computers a lot, make circles. Switch direction. Back to neutral. The fingertips are now pointing towards the knees. Keep the arms straight, stay on your toes, and then send the hips back. Let the palms lift up. Breathe into that sensation in your forearms. You might also feel this in your fingers, in your palms. If you want more, bend one arm and then the other, or both at the same time. Start to move around a little bit more. And just move in a way that feels good for you. And back to neutral tabletop. This time untuck your toes. The shoulders are over the wrists, the hips above the knees. On your inhale, arch your back, look forward for cow pose. Exhale, round your back, press into your palms, and lift your knees up. Stay on the tops of your feet. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. At the bottom of your exhale, set the knees down, and then inhale, arch your back, look forward. Exhale, round your back. Cat pose, lift the knees up. Take a deep breath in. I call this turbo cat. Exhale all the way out. Tip the knees down. Inhale, arch your back. One more. Inhale, arch your back. Look forward. Back to neutral. Step the feet back. Extend the legs. Plank pose. Tuck your tailbone and engage the core. Press into your palms as much as you can and feel that space between the shoulder blades. That space wants to reach up towards the ceiling. So push as much as you can. Tuck your tailbone. Core is tight and engaged. Engage your glutes as well. And find your breath here. Soften the breath down a little bit more. Shift forward, come high onto your toes, bend your arms for chaturanga. The elbows are over the wrists. Press back up, plank pose. Shift forward, chaturanga. Up to plank. Forward, chaturanga. Up to plank. Downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. Keep your knees bent for now. Just move the chest towards the thighs. Keep the arms straight. Externally rotate the arms and keep pressing into the palms. What we're looking for is that openness in the shoulders and in the back. And if you want more or you want to start to straighten your legs, go ahead and do so, but try to keep that length in your back. Hide your heels behind the ankles. With your next inhale, lift your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Keep moving the chest towards the left thigh. Come high onto your left toes. Bend your right knee, open, stack your hips. Keep the right shoulder on the same height as the left. And point the right foot as if you're reaching with the right foot down towards the ground. On your inhale, come even higher onto the left toes. Exhale, right knee to the left triceps. Round your back, lift your right knee up even higher towards the left shoulder. Inhale, reach up and back, three-legged dog, open stack. Exhale, right knee to the left triceps. Inhale, reach up and back. 
Exhale, right knee to the nose, hold it there. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Straighten both legs for pyramid pose. Both heels on the ground. If that's not possible, just step the left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen out through the spine. Exhale, fold forward and down. If you want, walk your hands to the right. Or maybe to the left. So that you feel the different parts of the stretch in your right back side of the leg, your right hamstring. And place your left fingertips on the ground inside the right foot. For revolved triangle, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Pull the right hip back a little bit more. Rotate the chest up towards the ceiling more instead of just reaching the arm back. Reach your right arm forward as if you're on a reach forward for something and then re-bend the right knee place your right hand inside the right foot reach your left arm up towards the sky revolve triangle oh revolve side angle reach your left arm forward keep the left arm straight but then plug your left arm into the shoulder socket Pull the lower belly in. On your exhale, spider lunge to your left. Bend your left knee straight in the right. Try to find this lower variation of a spider lunge with the left heel down. If that's not possible, just keep the hips higher, but still keep the left heel on the ground. Then place your left hand on the ground, left arm inside the left leg. Lift your left heel up, reach your right arm up and over your head. Slowly release, move forward to the front of the mat for half, uh, for half boost. Left leg floats up, fingertips are on the ground or, if, or on a block, lower the left hip down. Keep both legs straight and reach back with the left heel to the back of the mat. Also great entry for handstands if you want to go upside down. Rebend the right knee, step the left foot back for crest and lunge. Reach both arms up, maybe widen the stance. Make sure you can see the right big toe inside the right knee. And then tuck the tailbone, pull the lower belly in, kind of pull the chest in too, and reach your arms up and back even higher. Maybe lower the hips down even more, bend the right knee more, widen your stance. Reach your left arm forward, the right arm behind you for open twist. Try to find that rotation more from the core by using your strength. Pull the right shoulder back towards, um, I don't know, behind you. <laughs> Reach your left arm up and over your head. The right hand might touch the left hamstring. Find some more space on the left side body. Engage your glutes, especially the left side. And reach your left arm forward again. Imagine someone's pulling you forward. The left leg floats up for revolved half moon. The right arm is reaching up. The left arm is on the ground. Left hand on the ground. The left leg is lifted. Rotate your chest to the right side. On your next inhale, rise up to standing on the right leg. The left leg is not touching the ground. Keep the right leg straight, bend the left knee, grab your left thigh, reach your left arm back. If you feel open enough already, grab the left foot, extend the leg forward.
slowly release, cross your left ankle over the right thigh for standing pigeon. Hands to the heart, send the hips back and down, keep the spine nice and long. Look down to your left foot, make sure the left toes are pointing towards the left knee so that you protect your left knee joint. Hands at the heart. If you want to take a twist variation here, you can bring the left fingertips on the ground, reach your right arm up, or bring your left elbow inside your left foot, and then connect your palms. Also a great entry for a grasshopper. I don't really have enough space to do that here right now, but maybe at home you have. Slowly come back up, standing pigeon. Step the left foot back. Bring the hands down to the ground. Step the right foot back, plank pose. Shift the hips forward, uh, the, the upper body forward, come high into your toes. Bend your arms, chaturanga, hold it there. The elbows are over the wrists. Don't bend your arms more than 90 degrees. You're still kind of pushing the ground away, core is still engaged, glutes are engaged as well. Soften the breath down. Press up to plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Up to plank. Two more. Call this yogi push-ups. Plank, chaturangas. Back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, let it all go. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, let it go. Seal your lips again, find that breath through the nose. Nice and controlled. On your inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Three legged dog. And bend your left knee, stack your hips. Point the left toes, the left foot. Come high into your right toes. Exhale, left knee to the right triceps. Hold it there, lift your left knee up even higher. And bring it up and back, three-legged dog, open stack. Exhale, left knee, right triceps. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Flex your left foot. Silently step your left foot between the hands. Straighten both legs for pyramid. Maybe shorten the stance, step the right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen out through the spine. Exhale, fold forward and down. Maybe walk your hands to the right. Pull the left hip back. And to the left. Place your right fingertips inside the left foot. Reach your left arm up, revolve triangle. Try to keep both legs straight, keep the spine nice and long. Pull the lower belly in and rotate your chest more to the left, up towards the ceiling. Reach your left arm forward. Place your left hand inside your left foot. Rebend the left knee and reach your right arm up. Revolved side angle. Pull the right shoulder, the right arm into the right shoulder socket, but keep the right arm straight and engaged. Now reach the right fingertips to the front of the mat. If someone's pulling you forward, on your exhale, spider lunge to the right. Bend your right knee straight in the left. Lift your right heel up. Place the right hand down, the right arm inside the right leg. Reach your left arm up and over your head. Slow 
Rory Belize move forward for, um, what is it called? Borgia 3 prep. <laughs> Fingertips on the ground. Lift the right leg up, lower, lower the right hip down so that the right hip is on the same height as the left. Keep the right foot flexed, the right heel is reaching back. Again, great entry for handstands if you want to go upside down. Come back down. And step the right foot back. Press and lunge. Reach your arms up. Pull the lower belly in. Bend your left knee a lot. Maybe widen your stance. Reach your arms up. Engage your core. Reach your right arm forward, open twist, left arm is reaching back. Breath is nice and soft. It's getting quite warm here for me. Early morning but still super hot. Well, already super hot. Reach the right arm forward. Actually, let's reverse it first. Reach the right arm back. Left hand is reaching to the right hamstring. And then reach the right arm forward. Revolved half moon. The right leg floats up again. Right hand down. Left arm is reaching up. Try to stand taller on the left leg. So kind of press your left foot more into the ground. And open your chest. Rotate your chest more towards the left and up. On your next inhale release, come up to standing on the left leg. Bend the right knee, grab the right thigh. And reach the right arm back. Again, if you feel open enough already, grab the right foot. And extend the right leg forward. Stand nice and tall. So you release for standing pigeon. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Hands to the heart. Send the hips back and down. Spine is nice and long. Press your palms together. Look down to the ground. Make sure the right foot is flexed again so that the right toes are pointing to the right. Feel free to stay here or find a twist. Right fingertips down, left arm is reaching up, or right elbow inside the left, the right foot. Connect your palms. Pull the lower belly in. With every inhale, you lengthen. When you exhale, maybe twist a little bit more. Just find that sensation, that end range that feels good for you. Slowly release, standing pigeon all together. Release the right foot, extend the right leg back. Plank pose. Press into your palms, tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Maybe close your eyes here for a couple breaths. Notice more the breath. Find that state of meditation, ease and peace while you're in this hold. Maybe it gets challenging already for you. And so the challenge is really how soft, how quiet can you be in this pose. Even though you're in something challenging, you can still find that peaceful state within. And the best tool to get there is with the breath.
focus on every inhale through the nose and the exhale through the nose. This is what I mean with using the breath as a guide. Shift forward, Chaturanga, bend your arms. Now tap the right knee to the right elbow. Step it back, left knee, left elbow. Step it back, one more each side. Chaturanga, press up to plank. Downward dog. We're gonna all meet in yogi squat, malasana. So the feet are outside the hands, you can step or float or handstand your way there. Take a deep breath in, lift the heels up, and then step, float, handstand to malasana. Now bring your the back side of your left hand on your left lower back and try to bring the left elbow inside the left leg. Once you have that, start to move your left leg towards the center, towards the right, and rotate your body to the left. Just gently, it can be pretty deep, pretty fast. Slowly release, other side. release. Always good to sit in a squad. Could hang out here all day. But it wasn't always like that. It was very challenging in the beginning. Especially for the ankles, but I think everyone should be able to squat or at least work towards squatting more. So next time you're on your phone or doing whatever, maybe do it in the squad. Sit the hips down. Boat pose, lift the feet up, reach the arms forward. Keep the spine nice and long. If at any point this is too much, you can set the heels back down, just like this. If you also want, on the other hand, extend the legs and take this boat variation, that's perfectly cool too. Do whatever you want with your feet, you can either point them or flex, but just keep them active. And lower down for half boat. The heels are still lifted. The upper back, the shoulder blades are lifted. Reach your arms forward. Then lean to your right side and start to come up for a half boat while you're leaning, uh, for a boat while you're leaning to the right. Kind of like this. Lower down, over to the left come up to boat. Kind of takes a lot of balance too, to stay on the left side. Lower down, back through center to the right. Two more each side. Whoop. One more. to center, low boat, reach your arms up and over your head, hold it there for three or five breaths, and reach your arms forward, come up to boat pose, set the feet down, bring your hands behind you, the fingertips are pointing towards you, lift your hips up, reverse tabletop to counter, Engage your glutes, lift your hips up as high as you can. For some of us, it feels good to have the head hang backwards. Not really for me, but maybe for you, so take the option that works for you. Now keep the hands where they're at. Don't move the hands. Move the hips forward and then set the hips down. When you inhale, move your chest forward and up. 
exhale bend your arms keep the elbows close together slowly release reach your arms forward come onto your back both knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Shavasana, extend the heels to the corners of the mat. Bring the arms alongside your body or outside, uh, extend them out, palms facing upwards. Close your eyes, relax your body. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Maybe you notice some differences in your breath, or how your body feels. You don't want to label them or judge any of this. Just notice and know it's part of the practice. I recommend laying here for a couple of minutes, maybe continue with the seated meditation. I will end the video here.